Your girl is a Taurus sun. Focus on your peace, moving forward. If it shows up half-baked, half-cooked, half-made, half-ready, release it. Period. Stop forcing shit that's no one. Ain't gonna hold nobody. Ain't gonna fake shit, ain't gonna hold shit, ain't gonna make shit up. I love what I do. Cause I'm tap the fuck in. I'ma read this motherfucking course yeah. left, right, up, down, sideways, sideways. Tap the fuck in. You hear me? Yeah, I read Mirror it. two. Tap the fuck Backwards in. Backwards <laughs> in reverse. Yeah. I'ma read these bitches. Hello, Pisces. Welcome. Let's get into your messages. This will be for Pisces in placement. Flip and switch the energy. Several resonate only from the multiple scenarios that will come out in this collective Pisces reading. Anything you need to know about me will be down below, such as my social media links and the link to book a reading. Let's see what does the universe want you to know. What's the tea? We got the Ten of Wands. Something could be heavy. All right. Uh, Sagittarius energy. Hmm. If this reading does not resonate, it's not your story this week. Some of you could be overworked and underpaid. Some of you are burdened by a particular person in your life. They're not helping you hold the weight. Or they feel like you're not helping them enough. Interesting. Some of you are carrying a lot on your own. Bag a lady for Pisces. What's the tea? Strength. Hell yeah. Some of you are carrying a lot on your own. Leo energy. We got Drake on TV with... Feel no ways, feel no ways, feel no ways. Basically, he he could be y'all could be numb to a situation. What else for? He's a Scorpio, if I did not say. For Pisces, any placement. Falling over the strength. Tower. Oof. This is something that happened abruptly that caused you to have to figure it out, is what I'm getting. On your own. This could also be a prediction. Because I do read past, present, future. You're going to have to stand 10 toes down and figure your way through, figure your way out, overcome some kind of obstacle. Someone could be holding on to you like stronghold. That's getting ready to shift. Something could have been ongoing for quite some time. Could be a breakthrough, but you may be losing a lot, though, in order to start over. Tower is like destruction, devastation, purification, divine intervention. But you're strong enough to handle it. Only the strong survive. And Scorpio energy, as I just said, with Drake. Tapped in. What else for Pisces? Six of Pentacles. Some of you are wanting reciprocation. Some of you, something has happened which has caused you to have to receive some kind of government assistance. Oh, man, like a disability. Short-term disability. For some of you, someone's coming towards you to give to you. It's going to surprise you. They're, they found the courage to do so. Taurus energy with the Six of Pentacles. Oh, this is you. What else for Pisces? Grants, loans, charity, reciprocity, support from the universe. The universe is stepping in as well to help you get through a situation that's going to be difficult. Oh, this has already happened for pisces any placement six of cups for some of you it already happened you're still struggling with it because you have a lack of support around you or you need someone or you're trying to get your shit together you got a new job you're trying to build something trying to save for some of you there's a commitment here you're in love you need this person or they need you or they needed you what else is this King of Cups, son, there's a male here in love with someone. He wants to commit and collaborate with her. Or same sex. Capricorn, Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Scorpio again, and the Magician. Someone wants a partnership to work out, for sure. They're optimistic about it. Someone also wants a breakthrough. Some of you have hit rock bottom and someone's supporting you. You need them or they need you. Something happened. Let's see. For Pisces, cut the deck on playroom, hidden sexual secrets, but someone could be craving sex outside of whatever this is or f more of it. Could be a nympho. 
high sex drive. Let's see. For Pisces, what is this energy? Destruction. I said this tower was destruction. Something is being brought down. There could be some interference in your life. Friends or family could be fake. Trying to break you and someone up. Your spirit guides and ancestors could be trying to get you to step away from a particular person as well. Because friends, I read as spirit guides and family, I read as ancestors. There's a soul contract with a soul mate or a twin flame, six of cups to the three of pentacles that needs to come together. But something has to change here. Something or someone could be holding you back. Strength for Pisces. Damn. So ulterior motives at the bottom of the deck when I'm clarifying. Unsure communication not clear. Scared lack of self-esteem due to upbringing scent the smell of someone else on them. I got Kaylani on TV. She's a Taurus. Could be relevant. Um, You know what's up. So this could be someone in your life that's arrogant, like they they know you need them or you needed them or they feel like they got status that you're going to want them no matter what. Based on the energy surrounding, I read everything when I'm, I channel everything when I'm reading. Okay. I use everything when I'm reading. Unsure. Someone may not know what to do about a situation or how to, communi how to communicate with you, how to come towards you. Lack of self-esteem. They could be insecure, which is why they need strength and confidence. Um, they could have been cheated on before. They're scared to be cheated on again for some of you. They're afraid to get hurt. For some of you, this is someone that hurt you. They would like to start over and make it work. But you could be done. But you need them. That's kind of weird. So maybe y'all stay together. I mean, it's a situation. Not weird. It's someone's situation. It's a sticky situation. Let me say that. Y'all could be done, but y'all still live together for some of you. Or y'all got kids together. Or they got kids with someone they're done with. But they need them. How'd they go? All right. Some of you have ignored someone. Some of you could know someone last name Pratt. Someone could be in jail. You're not answering their phone calls anymore. Or they did this to you and now you're out watching tarot. How have you go? Okay. What's scared? Another situation. Let's see. Some of you could be ordering DoorDash. Maybe they dashed in and out of your life. I said that before. <laughs> scared. Or somebody suddenly switched up on you. Silver. Maybe they got silver. Maybe they like wearing silver chains. And maybe they got teeth. False. I mean, what you call it? A grill. Mm. Scared of what? It goes well with strength. Scared of what? Getting close to someone. Damn. Renewing. Starting over. Embrace craving your physical touch. Renewal. Early stages of union. Someone's afraid to start over. So they may stay where they at for some of you. Or for some of you, you're dealing with someone that's not sure about committing again because they've been hurt before. So they may even play the field. If they're not committed to someone cheating with you, or this you, they're just playing the field afraid to commit. They could be absolutely single for some of you, but this ain't sent the smell of someone else on them. They could be their past or they're dealing with somebody else. Y'all know where y'all are in these situations. Again, this is not going to be everyone's read every week. It has to change. Just like millions of Pisces, maybe even billions on this planet. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Some of you could be dealing with someone that has anger issues. Even though he's playing, I'm going to use that as well. This lion is also roaring. If you, Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Let's see. Oh, they have Leo in their birth chart. I feel like someone's afraid to commit. They could be scared because they've been hurt. Someone's with someone else. They're afraid to leave them and start fresh. Or this is you. Yeah. 
that y'all may even be in a third party relationship. They're afraid to pick one of you. So they, they feel comfortable with both of you. They're giving to both of you. What is you? Tower. Or someone's trying to get someone in the mix. Like, this may have not even started yet. Someone's trying to get someone to come into their life while they're with someone else. Stop that shit. What's the tower? Just leave where you're not happy. Tower for Pisces. Sideways. Fade to lunch. Mmm. That's a tower for sure. So someone could have had their shit together, been on their shit, or relationship was going well. All of a sudden, it wasn't. All of a sudden, they lost it all. Someone filed bankruptcy as well. Someone someone could work in aviation. Where the hell I get that from? Um, All right. Someone could work in aviation. I do see light and I do see airline energy here. Okay, that's a new one. Um, Someone could study astrology or have an interest of it. What's this? Why this didn't launch? Oh, why is it in limbo? Because it's going, it's, it's, it's moving. It ain't going nowhere as of, to the, to, the, to the heights. The potential ain't being met, but some going on. It's sideways. What is this? Why, why didn't it launch? Sideways, nervous. So they scared and nervous. What the fuck? Can't nobody be playing with a little bitty ass kids when it comes to emotion. Somebody's emotionally immature. Ain't nobody got time for this. I'm not even a fucking Pisces. T testing the waters, seeing how far they can push you, what you willing to tolerate, what you willing to deal with, playing mind games with all of that. Failure to launch nervous. They do just enough to keep you interested or to keep that person that they're dealing with provided for them or happy or in their life. Some kind of way. They're doing just enough to keep this third party going. Yep. But some of you is not a third party they're doing just enough to keep you interested, even though they're not ready to commit. They may be consistently texting you. They may consistently send you a dick pic or, or, or a vagina pic. They do enough to keep you interested, but you want more. So perhaps that's why I ended. What is the tower? I got to overcome this shit. Strength. What's the tower? Random person. What's the tower? Random person or situation. What's going to happen or what has happened? Damn. I'm getting yelled at. Future. They see this relationship for the long term. Layers, multiple factors. Okay, that's solid. So for right now, some of you are dealing with a person or situation. They could be fucking married with a wedding cake. But they're not ready yet. That's what that's that's all this is. Someone's not ready yet. They're not ready to lead it. They're not ready to commit to you. They're not ready to open up at all. They're not ready to make a monogamous decision when it's polygamy. Because that's also somebody's desire. Monogamy. So the tower is all of a sudden someone realizes they have feelings for you. It didn't go anywhere. Maybe they want to renew it. They miss you. But they played on you. They talked to somebody else. They didn't know what to say. They didn't know what to do. They didn't know how to commit. So it ended. Before it even got started. Or before it even went anywhere. It looked like it was going well. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. My spirit team tell me I'm looking at this wrong. Failure to launch. If it was in the upright, it would be saying this didn't go anywhere. It's sideways. There's potential here. I did say that. The potential is not met. They said it's for the long term. Suddenly, random with the tower. Upright, it would have been a failure. Sideways, this still has potential, though. Wow. It's just a... Yeah, you make this person happy. It's more to... It's a lot going on in their life. Or it's a lot going on in your life, but you got feelings for someone else that you're not with for some of you. Or the person you with is like, what's happening? Why are you not the same? You're going, you're struggling internally with whatever this tower energy. I did pick up on a disability for some of you. You could be struggling or they could be struggling with something that they're dealing with on the inside. Now, to be honest, depression will disable me. I am not myself, right? I'm not a doctor, so let me not go too far into that. But something is interfering, in this connection. Mm -hmm. Six of Pentacles. 
for Pisces. Renew early stages of union. Someone wants to give and receive equally or start over with someone they know already. Oh, this is you. Early stages. Someone has to provide for a child. Six of Cups is next. Two children, maybe even twins. Some of you could be dealing with a twin flame. Early stages of union is the beginning. They're not used to someone giving to them and providing for them and offering them shit and taking care of them without without wanting it back. They're not used to that. This scares the shit out of them. Unreasonable, only seeing things one way. They're not used to that. Like, what is going on? You doing for me? You helping me? You taking care of me? I ain't used to that. I'm telling you, they're not used to that. Hey, what the hell? Oh, uh, hmm. Y'all reading got me thinking. Six of Pentacles, Taurus energy. If I did not say it, I definitely said it. What else is this? Misinformation, wrong. They they not used to reciprocity. They don't even know what that is unconditional love for some of you they've been given to somebody else that's not <laughs> so if they've been supporting someone financially six of pentacles misinformation that's not even a baby wait a minute somebody could have said that was pregnant and this person has been given to them based on them saying that they pregnant and that ain't even a baby she on the phone right now i'm pregnant so this person be giving them money, Six of Pentacles. Y'all hear my kid at the door? Renew early stages of union. It's the beginning of the pregnancy, but they already taking care of them for some of you. I don't know why these cards won't. There you go. Wait, Omari. Omari is a Capricorn for those that don't know. Okay. He's a fucking Capricorn. <laughs> What's the Six of Cups? Okay, go sit down. Here I come. Six of Cups for Pisces. Scorpio energy. I don't remember saying that. Purse clean to you but doesn't want to open up. This is somebody y'all known for a long time. Six of Cups for Pisces. Sideways. Amazed. Looking even better in person than the last time. Somebody want to get with somebody from their past. Or someone's past is trying to get back with them. Sideways, though. Someone has lost themselves since the last time you've seen them. Or they feel like this about you. You've gained some weight or cut your hair in a, a way they don't like. You might look good, but they may not like it. You don't look the same. You don't act the same. They miss you, but they can't connect with you. You're unreachable. You're not answering the phone. You're not responding to their text. Unsure communication, not clear. You don't reach out. You don't hit their line no more. Or you feel like this about them. Like, damn, why they don't call or text me or answer my phone call? More than likely, you already got something going on. That's probably why. Okay. Why do that? And something else is going on behind the scenes. Everybody would be confused. Um, You have to clear your life up before you try to move on. Let's be real. Whether you don't like that person for real or not, let's not interfere with someone else's life at all. Okay. Well, this is what they need to hear from me about you. Leave you alone until they clean their life up. What else is this? Six of Cups. Never mind. I'm going to do one more. Curiosity. Interested in knowing more about you. Someone wants to be back in someone's life that they already know. Six of Cups. Might miss somebody from their past. Sideways ulterior motives hiding something it's get not a hundred percent fake as fuck child listen whoever they with it's getting harder for them to hide their secrets the truth is about to come out hiding something not a hundred percent fake as fuck they miss somebody from their past or they're interested in someone from their past whoever they with they've been selling a pot of gold and lying to them we're gonna build this we're gonna do this but they really ready to move out move on maybe even quit a job or Maybe they got fired. However it go, they need that person. For sure. Someone needs somebody. They're totally dependent on somebody else. Or maybe they share shit. They might not be totally dependent. But it's a codependent situation for sure. Um, Someone behind the scenes is trying to block someone from reconciling with you. They could be projecting over this person's life. Causing imbalances for them. So they can't come towards you. That's 
common in the tarot these days. I'm seeing it on this table too. Ulterior motives, someone behind the scenes, they're sideways because their tactics are no longer working as effectively as they used to. Whether they popping up, bouncing ass, or slinging penis, that's not working no more. Uh, three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Someone misses you, or you miss them, or someone needs to close out cycles in their past before they can move forward, or they need them, so it's hard to move forward. Three of Pentacles, or they're not over it, they're not dealing with anybody. Someone's manifesting you, a collaboration with you, or someone's trying to bind someone to somebody. I had to pick these cards up, but yeah. Someone could be trying to bind you to them or bind someone else to your person. Someone could be trying to bind your person to them. Someone could be manifesting being able to work things out or have an equal give and take partnership where two people work together. A 50-50 house dynamic, household dynamic. I believe in balance. Let's see. What's this three of pentacles? Capricorn energy at the bottom of the deck. The hidden fact is friends or family trying to bring you two back together, ride or die crew. There's a soul contract. Friends is spirit guides. Family is ancestors. Could be genuinely, like, actually friends and family trying to get you and somebody back together. Cool. But your spirit team, your angels, your guides, your ancestors is trying to bring you and a particular person together. Because that would be more beneficial for your soul growth. While your spirit team is trying to bring you and somebody back together, there's someone behind the scenes trying to keep you and somebody else apart. Just period. Conspiracy. Other people trying to... Plotting to keep you apart and <laughs> friends and family trying to bring you two back together there's a spiritual battle going on here so let's see tower somebody interfered somebody randomly popped up from the past they have ulterior modes they're trying to get back at someone's good graces or keep them stuck or keep them bound or interfere and confuse them yep or this is you dealing with this somebody from your past act like they want you back but they got ulterior motives they could be doing a spell for some of you, they're not doing a spell. They're manipulating you. You need me if it wasn't for me. That's manipulation when you have something else that could be beautiful on the other side of it. Or this is happening to your person. If you show up in this reading in any way, which how, look into it, fight back, or leave it the fuck alone if you ain't about their life. And if you bought about their life, make sure you tell this person somehow, some way that the person they with, they cannot be trusted. Let's start informing people that's not, not spiritually inclined. They need to become spiritually inclined. This shit is real. What else is this? If you are in a situation where you're dependent, find a codependent. Find a way to become independent. Simple. And nothing will ever keep you this bound. Or hopefully your person figures their, their way through and their way out of a situation that keeps them stuck. Peace.